Gamblefish. Um, this is an interesting series. If I had to describe it in a summary, it would be Kaiji the Gambler combined with Lupin the Third. I think people who've read Gamblefish would say that is a pretty fair description. Um, it stars a 14 or 15 year old boy <clears throat> who goes to a school and the school is basically full of the richest people, you know, the most prestigious richest students or whatever. His whole point though is to basically start off with just about 10 cents and gamble his way up doubling his money each time by doing dares and feats and gambles and stuff like that with the students all the way up to like a metric fuck ton of money at which point he will attempt to get back his family's heirloom by either buying it or paying his way into a contest to be able to get it back. And the series is like Kaiji because it's got a lot of gambling, it's got a lot of psychological stuff, etc. Um, it's definitely got some gore. There's one point where one of the characters in a bet slices off all of their fingers with a chainsaw. There are people that get, um, you know, like killed and stuff like that, or at least I think that happens in the future chapters. There's people that get electrocuted, there's people that get poisoned. It's like hardcore shit. The reason I say it's more like Lupin the Third, though, um, or that adds into it, is because. Kaiji, he generally tends to go it alone. And if he does have assistance, they're usually fucking idiots. Um, in this series, the main character eventually gets a harem of chicks that all have their own like skills and abilities. They're not just like dumb bimbos that can't do anything. They're actually like, you know, uh, one of them is like super good with gambling, another one's like super, you know, famous and wealthy, whatever else. And and another one's like a great sports player and stuff like that. And as the series goes on, they basically become his, like, you know, uh, like the characters in Lupin the Third that back up Lupin. I can't think of their names right now off the top of my head, but um, they become those characters for him. And so as the series goes on, he gets in more and more dangerous gambles, and these characters back him up and sometimes save his life and so forth. And it's also got a ton of fan service. Due to the fact that, you know, he does have like a harem of chicks that are basically into him. And of course he plays the part of pretty much every single character in a shonen manga where he's got these chicks that are like falling all over him. And he's just like, oh, okay, so uh, back to the gamble. Like he just does not even react to this whatsoever. So, uh, you know, you, you should all be used to that by now. Um, but basically it is a gambling series that is over the top and has a lot of fan service and extreme stuff but it's not it's it's not a fan service series with gambling added to it it's a gambling series with fan service added to it so the fan service is a second thought which takes a backseat to the actual intense gambling and storylines and backstory and characters personalities so i do definitely recommend you check it out um the art style is very i don't want to say unique but it's very extreme compared to a lot of other gambling series that seem to not do that that much for some reason. Usually gambling series are very laid back and toned back and pulled back in character design, but uh, this one goes way out there. It's pretty nuts. So anyways, uh, that is Gamblefish. Highly recommend you check it out. And that's about it.